And people might say, why are you talking about this? It's not me. Well, first of all, you know, I'm talking about it because 42% of Republicans think the Bible's literally true. A fourth of them think the Antichrist might be Obama. And this stuff does infect politics. I think it infects that, that uh, uh, discussion that they've been having lately about Israel. Mm. Somehow the Republicans stole the Jews. <laughs> remember, what happened? Remember James Baker? Fuck the Jews. They don't vote for us. Yeah. What happened to that old? That's your yeah. grandfather's Republican. Yeah. Fuck the Jews. Yeah. How did the Republicans yeah. get to be the party that's, yeah. oh, we love the Jews. And you know what it is? It's because they want Israel in the hands of the Jews because they, they think the Bible is real. Yeah. And before yeah. you know who comes back, the place has to be in Jewish hands. And then, because, but then you, know, you still have to say Beetlejuice three times before Jesus will show up. <laughs> and you know, it's not, it's not totally working. I saw a, a, a study yesterday which said that 76% of Florida Jews support Obama. If he's got 76% of Florida Jews, the Republicans have not stolen the Jews. No. I don't think they have. <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't think somebody's that. stolen all our Jews. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Obama's position on Israel is no different than, frankly, Bush's has been. I mean, he's had the same policies than Clinton's was. So there's but, nothing that's changed. The Republicans today are trying to outright the, you know, uh, Netanyahu, essentially, and giving power to the folks in the Knesset who are to the extreme right. Rick Perry accused uh, Obama of appeasement it's with Israel. But can it's, I, can which, I, can which, I ask you a really cool. dumb question? Yeah. Can I be the dumb guy here for the rest of the hour? Um, I, I, okay. the, 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 the issue of Israel has always been, for me, like way down the list of things that I stress about that keep me up in the middle of the night. Goyim! I understand. I'm McFarland. <laughs> I understand <laughs> why it's important to the Jews is the homeland. I understand why it's important to the Christians. It's, it's the, you know, they, they got to be in control of everything or Jesus won't come back. I understand why it's important to the politicians, the donors. But for, for a guy like me who, who just has no special interest, no connection to no this... skin in the game. Why, yeah, what, what, what is supposed to get me riled up about a strip of land that if your, real, if your realtor sold it to you, you, you would sue him? <laughs> and I'm, I'm literally... This is me, stupid idiot, asking this question, like... I, well, I really, well, I, this has well, always baffled me. Well, I could, you know, can I add a, let, me, let me add a question to that question, because, because if you... <laughs> I don't know about his foreskin. No, I haven't looked that closely into it. <laughs> but you obviously have. Um, I... <laughs> it seems to me that if you look at what's actually happening in the Middle East right now, the interesting subject is not Israel. The interesting subject is what is happening in the Arab world. And we should be looking at that instead of obsessing well, they're about... They're kind of tied together. You know, yeah, well... Well, they are and they are. I mean, if you look at what's happening in Egypt right now, there's not a single person in Egypt who says they would change their policy regarding Israel. You know, it, it's, it's a very strange their thing... policy the... has already changed regarding the... Israel because Mubarak is gone. Well, but the new, the new people aren't saying they're going to break treaties or anything like that. You know, they're... they're right. uh, the, the point is there's a revolution happening in the world, you know, and, and we're looking away from that towards a kind of old quarrel. And we should be looking at the new world that we could be helping to bring into being. All right. Well, let me... Um, let me move on to Fox News because... Um